Good afternoon everybody and welcome to a very special little spotted cat. So we've come all the way down to Cheetah Plains that's why it's taken us a little bit of time to get going. We've also had a few little technical issues and so my name is Tristan and on camera today I've got Craig with me and we have come like I say to Cheetah Plains in search of different spotted cats but we ultimately got this one which is great. Now I'm not 100% sure who it is exactly. Um, the leopards of this particular area I haven't seen too much but I think it's either in Kanyeni or her son Batumi, but I can't see 100%. Um, we've just come across her on the termite mound, and so difficult to see who it is exactly. So the viewers out there that are very good with the ID kits of these leopards, maybe can point us in the right direction as to who this is, but I'm going to hedge my bets on Inkanyeni. It would be the right sort of area for her. We're right up on the eastern side of Cheetah Plains, and she likes to spend a bit of time here, so that's where I think it is. I might be wrong. But the ears are very large and so are the paws, which think makes me think that it might be a young male. Like I say, it's very difficult to see its back end at the moment because it's tucked in the grass, but you can see very large paws there and then very big ears that it seems like it hasn't grown into just yet. So there we go. And isn't that absolutely spectacular? Perfectly posing on this mound. Now, I believe she was drinking, or he was drinking, at a little pan close by, and has now come up onto this mound. And as we were coming in, there was actually a male impala that was coming down to the same pan. So from that elevation there, I'm pretty sure this leopard will be able to see very clearly what's going on, and be able to then t see that impala and potentially then hunt. The amazing thing is that the area that we're in at the moment is that if this leopard comes down and into the grass, it's going to just disappear. The grass is so long that this cat will be able to get out of here without anybody even knowing or seeing and so it's the perfect place to watch these pans behind us and these little water systems and as the impalas or varying animals come to drink it can use this thicket on the edge of the pan to then stalk up close to be able to then hunt. You can see it's looking around quite a bit to see what's going on. I wonder if there's maybe not something moving behind there. I can't see what she's watching. So it could be, like I say, there's something moving in the grass. The grass is so long, it potentially could be something like a warthog, and we would never even be able to see it. Sorry, one of our aerials just caught on a branch, so she got a bit of a fright there. Do apologize. But you can see it's not phased too much. She hasn't really turned around, still fixated on whatever's rustling in the grass behind her. Now you'll find that today, because of the conditions that we've got, we've got these overcast, grey, cloudy conditions, and it is the perfect, perfect conditions for a leopard to be moving around. You'll often find them in these conditions active during the day. They'll spend even the hottest part of the day moving around. It's quite dreary and grey, and so it's very difficult actually to make out shapes in this. And so for them, it's cool enough to move around, as well as the fact that it's dark enough that the other animals don't see them nearly as well as they would if it was very, very sunny. Roger, and this, I think I would agree with you. I, he, it looks like a young male to me as well. So it looks like it's got big ears and big paws. So for to me would be my guess as well. But let's see. I'm hoping it's going to come down the mound and I'll be able to see clearly. But it does look like him. Um, it's definitely quite a bulky head and so that would be my guess as well, one of the two of those. Now, I know that Tundi's other cub, Kuchava, spends a bit of time here, but that is a little smaller than this as a female. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is Vitumi. Now, I wonder where Kanyeni would be. I know she's been hanging around with him, so hopefully she's somewhere here too. Maybe that's what he's been looking at over his shoulder. It wouldn't be nice if the two of them were together. So we'll definitely stick around here for a little bit of time and see what happens and see what this little cat gets up to. And while we do that, I believe Taylor's got a little jumping frog.